God, Pew Pew you tell him that he's heard of him and wants to play. Did I tell him. you today and at PAX, at PAX when I saw Zoo, I have a big man crush on Zoo. Oh my god, dude. So, so cool. <laughs> like, man. No, I was best, at... Best Asian smasher. Confirmed. No, Kevin. Oh yeah. Pew Pew Second Pew. best Asian smasher. Best Asian Falco. Left it's half Asian. Alright, so... Player. Chip... He's he always talks about how graceful Marth is, and I think his Marth actually a lot of fun to watch. And I think uh, yeah, I love I love Marth. Like if you dash dance at the full length, Marth looks like he's ice skating. Yeah, I love it's it. So amazing. He's doing a great job of uh, spacing around Fox. He's a uh... oh, all right. Not gonna lie, Tonova is uh, actually doing really well right yeah, now. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, but usually from what they say for. Uh, more top level players, they usually give up the first second stock and then they turn out really hard. See, so just like that. But, no. Oh, God. So he used the down smash to cover, uh, t you know, second place. The first hit covers second place, Miss Tech, and Tech roll to the right. Yep. The second hit covered Tech roll in. So it worked in all situations there. Um, and Chip just stand on the ledge right now. Trying to punish uh, Jordova's, punishing his ledge Ooh. options. Like and he missed that F uh, there. Yeah. Funny story, actually. Chip at the first Northwest uh, Manifest, yeah. he beat Lovage, and he didn't know who Lovage was. <laughs> and then Lovage proceeded to get second. Oh, yeah. But Chip started in his legendary loser's run. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, I remember that. That that beat on Tope. Oh, my goodness. So good. It was insane, dude. It's, like, crazy how many, like, good players they got to get yeah. Manifest. Um... This movement is just so beautiful right now. He's moving really well. He's doing a good job. He prides himself on his neutral game. I think Evan probably has a better punish game on like spaces in particular, but yeah. Chips, it's hard to hit Chip. Yeah. He looks untouchable versus Peach sometimes. I think it's also the way he moves around the stage as well. I played Evan before, and Evan's the uh, punish Marth game. Is really good. Oh my god! Oh my so the first hit of the Nair. Pushed Fox off stage, and the second hit hit him uh, when Fox was off. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. <laughs> so this is. All right, let's see what George is doing. taking do. control of the middle stage right now, and he's just like not letting him do anything at this point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, yo, that was yeah. a great trade. And then he gets that full smash to close out the game. Alright, so Chip takes game one. Uh, Chip's a hidden boss. He would be number one on the Indian PR with the absence of Vish now. But I don't think <laughs> Mr. Puffinator, who made the Indian PR, knows about Chip. Chip, short for Chiplu, his Indian name. That's pretty cool. Brundan Chiplu. That's really cool. Yeah. Yoshi's. Huh. I would have thought he would have maybe had taken him to Pokemon Stadium. Sometimes it's like hard to uh, get in on Fox on Yoshi uh, on smaller stages. Okay. Because you don't have the option of using full your full dash down tilt as much. Okay. So even though you have the platform options, it's hard. You don't get your down tilt tool as much to control neutral. So I can see like Fox like doing having an easier job. Uh, Beating out long range Marth on this stage. Yeah. But otherwise, like Marth, uh, Marth punishes pretty hard on Yoshi's. Yeah, he punishes really hard. All the ledges basically supports him, and even the and even the ledge. I did not get punished for that at all. The ledge, as you can see right there, it has a downward slope. So then his tip, um, his sword when he up smashes, um, it extends the tipper. Oh really? I don't think it extends it, but it hits like at a lower angle. Yeah, it hits at a lower angle. Yeah. Nice recovery there, saving his up B. So, Chip, so, uh, Jordan's doing a really good job of pressuring, uh, Marth's ledge options. I think that's, like, the most important part of the matchup, actually. Because Marth has terrible ledge options, that's too. beautiful shield pressure. Yeah. Marth also sucks in the air. But Marth, once he gets his punish on you, he's either juggling you or tech chasing you. Yeah. He punishes Spacey so hard, it's crazy. The thing is, Marv can't throw out his moves like that. 
or well, throw out his ace. He has to throw out really carefully, or he's just gonna get punished by Fox. Since all of my, uh, Fox's beat wow, these pivots are really solid. Ooh. Ooh. A little misspacing himself. Chip is spacing himself and overcommitting with those uh, empty hops right there. Jordova, what was that side B? What was he going for? I'm not sure. Oh yeah. Beautiful tempo. I think that's a read actually. I don't think you can react to that. Or like you have to preempt yourself for that, you know, to cover it. I feel like Jordova's just running it right now, and he's not really, um, he's not really wow. doing too well in the neutral. That was a really good like. Uh, like, you know, like down throw tech chase. Yeah. Huh. Alright. Alright. It's kind of scary, like, trying to hit the ledges, Marth. Because Fox has an invincible shine spike to cover that. Alright, but the, uh. I really like that air dodge, actually. Yeah. So, Georgiova's having a lot, a lot harder of a time pressuring his ledge options, but he does so there. Yeah. Making me eat my words. <laughs> Players are maddeningly inconsistent <laughs> when you're trying to commentate for them. So he does a kind of PP. I see PP do this too, where he charges the neutral B, releases it early to f uh, bait them to going high. Okay. Yeah. And he like releases it like just early enough, you know. It's pretty cool.